It's not possible to control them. Hey. Idiot. Idiot. Got I want to see, see these hellhounds on the leash. Oh, oh Say Munchkin, good go morning to you. Yeah. <laughs> How many times a day do you walk them? Me, usually, I walk them the two, three times. Three times. The Let's have a little bit more distance because there's, there's some other, there's some dogs walking towards you. Yeah. Them. Oh, don't let them get, don't nope. let them, no, oh, no. It's very embarrassing to me because if we see another dog along the way, I, they, they are like, you know, charging at them and barking. I don't know how to address that. No, I would I wish they so. could go say hi. Okay, Do you want to say hello you. to everybody in the street? No. Not everybody. We don't want to say hello to everybody, so why should our dogs be expected to say hello to everybody? From what I saw today, both Beanie and Munchkin have been really poorly socialized. So greeting other dogs on the street, that's frightening. I think these dogs really do need to be walked separately so that both dogs can be trained by themselves to at least walk past another dog without reacting. Beanie is the one who starts all the barking and the lunging, but it doesn't come from a place of confidence. It's just because she's so insecure. Then when Munchkin hears her, Munchkin goes. So I want to work with Beanie to start the socialization process. As we're walking towards the dog, I stop her every now and then and tell her good girl, Beanie. I put the treat up to my eye to get her focus. Good girl. To have Beanie. the eye contact. Good girl. Smiling. She's so okay, happy yes. now. No, you know what? Okay. Max is a lovely man and he's very eager, but he doesn't stop talking. So I had to take charge there. I'm working with her now. I wanted to focus on Thank you. me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For my safety, I have to listen to the woman now. Do you know? But it's OK. I have a person walking another dog. So now I want to walk towards the dog. Let's see what she does with Mr. Pug here. Good girl, Beanie. Say hi. Say hi, Beanie. She tried to snap a little. She's yeah. just nippy. Beanie said, good girl. Mochi was really into saying hello, but you yeah. know, Mochi was a little bit all yes. over Beanie, so Beanie kind of got a bit, uh, we're not going to force her to <laughs> greet her. Right. Allow her to greet for maybe a couple of seconds and pull her away, but it's always, it's, it's always with being really positive. I really want Beanie to establish another ritual of behavior. So I want her to do this again and again and again. Because this is a bigger dog. I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is not good. I don't know how that dog is gonna react, but I'm pretty sure about how mine's gonna react. So I'm not pretending that miracles can happen here. Beanie. Move off in the other direction, move off, just move. When a dog is reacting, if you walk off in the other direction, you're refocusing the dog's brain, because at that moment, no learning can take place, because the emotional brain is taking over the learning brain. Okay, so we're gonna try again. By refocusing the dog, taking it away, your dog can calm down to a point where it can start to learn again. Now, the dog is giving all of these great calming signals and a play bow, but she's not... Not good. She's not reading them. This is the part of the socialization where she lacked the socialization. Right. She doesn't really understand doggy language. The other dog was giving great calming signals, but Beanie really wasn't reading them correctly. She's still extremely nervous around other dogs. This dog could not be offering oh. any better signals. Yeah. Good girl, Beanie. Oh. Good girl. Each time she looks at the dog and then she looks back at me, she's getting a reward. Okay? okay. She's got to okay. look at the dog and look back at me. Good girl. Nice. So she's making a choice now. Nice. Good. Mm, she's nice, making uh... a choice now. Sometimes it's really difficult for a dog to control their impulses, but I could see Beanie's little mind was working overtime. All right, I want you to just take over doing, no, not. Tamara. Tamara. I don't think Tamara is entirely confident walking Beanie yet because she's had so much experience of Beanie reacting badly. So she's tensing up. 
Now what I'd like to do is I'd like if we could just sort of walk Good off girl, together. Parallel walking. I know that she's usually a little bit more, you know, tugging and, and carrying on on the leash when there's a big dog, and I'm kind of afraid that something might happen. If she bites another dog when we're on the leash, that could be a liability for me. Parallel walking together. Good girl, praise her. Good girl, Beanie. Good, good, Beanie. good, good. Don't tell her good girl when she lunges. Just go, let's go and go off in the other direction. We don't want her to lunge and be praised, be rewarded for no. it. Good girl. Okay, walk good girl, Beanie. Her, good so girl. Nice. Good girl, Beanie. I was really happy to see that she just walked with the big dog. She never walks good. next to a big good dog. Girl, that was a big hoorah time for me. Good girl, Beanie. Good girl. Remember, you're going to do this training separately with the dogs. Okay. Now, I don't care if it takes you a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month before you can put the dogs together. Don't rush it. I want the dogs to have gone past a hundred other dogs and be absolutely fine before you put them together. Okay. Wonderful. Thank Amanda, you. Very good. Thank you. The couple love to walk their dogs in the park, and I wanted to see how the training that we've done in the street would translate to being in the park. Okay. All right, so we're in Central Park. Yes. We're in the place that you guys like to enjoy yeah, walking, but it's a nightmare day. for you. Look, we've got some dogs over there. So let's walk past. Good she looks at the dogs and looks good away. Game. That's when you tell her good, OK? And now she's, she's distracted by smelling, too, which is great. Nice. It's so important to allow your dog to smell things in their environment. That is their dominant sense, their nose. So you have to reward each time she looks at them and looks away, good girl. And make it unemotional, no big fuss, nothing like okay. that. Okay, she show me the new technique, then we use it. I'm so glad. With validation from you that she's doing a good job, it's going to give her confidence. And you know what? I think she's going to like it better that she's not doing this lunging. So much less stressful. Max seems to be on board now. He knows that you know if it takes a while to change the habit of behavior, then he's willing to work with it. And that's a great sign. I'm learning. Right. I'm learning. Thank and you. so much of the time, we tell our dogs off, but we haven't taught them what to do. We that haven't is true. given them another option. Okay. No, I need the nice people to teach me. You know, I meet you, you thank you, you very nice much. you got a person here. You know, I, I know. It's the best one I find. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You know, you make me happy. You make Tamara happy. Good. And you make the French and Beanie. You make the family happy. That's you know? it. Then this I've is done that my we, job. That is what we want. <laughs> Max is doing great, but my bigger concern is Tamara and Beanie. Tamara's just got to keep her cool which can sometimes be hard. You know, I want you guys to be able eventually to walk in Central Park together. Yes. And then when they're really just more socialized with other dogs, that's the moment that you can allow them to go off leash. OK, OK, now, take her out. Take her out. There you go. Come on. Good. So she's the one that needs the yep. most. And you know, again, this dog is giving great signals. Yes. This dog is giving really calm signals, but Beanie doesn't recognize it. She's still extremely nervous around other dogs and is practicing avoidance. Walk her past. Get her in the zone. Walk past. Oh, come on, let's Good. Go, let's go. Lovely. Good girl, Beanie. Good girl. Good girl. I'm always nervous when I see a big dog and I have Beanie. I'm always a little bit nervous because I I don't want I don't know how that dog is going to react. Nope. No, wait a second. Uh -uh. She was fine. She wasn't going to was lunge. <gasps> Tamara's still a little bit nervous, I think, when she's walking in the park with the dogs, and she tends to yank them a lot. I don't think she's trusting herself. If Tamara is getting tense and overreacting in the park, who knows what she's going to be like in the daycare? Yeah, now she's almost saying yes. So it's almost like I'm you just go turning. like this. You go like that. Yeah. Let's go. Good girl. So she follows you. So you hardly okay. have to use this leash as a crutch at all. Look at her. Good girl. She beautiful. Good girl. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay. You've got your work cut out with you, with this oh, one. I know. Tamara was getting just a little bit impatient, but it's really important that she gives her dogs time. You can't expect them to change in two seconds. Good, get it. Let's go. Beanie and Munchkin are doing much better on their walks individually now, 
but we're still not to the point where we can walk them together in the park. Good, Gary. No, I'm so glad walking outside because the, the way she teach me what I have to do and the, I can walk them. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.